The most maddening part of all of that, though, is that these policies, they're not just destroying lives. They're rooted in lies, all of them. Our next guest was once a climate alarmist, but now says the entire movement is, quote, a scam. Tom Harris is the executive director of the International Climate Science Coalition. He joins me now. Tom, good to see you tonight. Now, you actually say the only way to get rid of this is to go after the science of climate change. Explain. Yeah, exactly. A lot of people will say, well, you know, uh, Canada, for example, puts out so little greenhouse gas emissions that we shouldn't, uh, we shouldn't actually try to reduce it because China is double the United States. Well, the trouble is people argue that, well, yes, but we have to set an example to the world and we have to be good citizens and all that sort of thing. So they're using these arguments quite often that China's double the emissions of the U.S., et cetera. But, but the real underlying thing is that there is no climate crisis. You know, I was originally an aerospace engineer, and I would give speeches and I wrote articles. I wrote one in the Ottawa Citizen about comparative planetology, how studying the planets helps us understand the Earth better. And I used the example of the runaway greenhouse effect on Venus. I said, this could happen on the Earth if we don't reduce carbon dioxide. Well, a local professor of Carl at Carleton University, professor of geology, he liked my article so much, he used it in his course on climate change. And, but he said to the students, but that part about Venus is wrong. What happened on Venus cannot physically happen on the Earth, and he explained why. Now, I thought, who is this climate change denier? Well, he invited me into his lab, and he showed me the geologic history that he and others are finding, and they found no consistent correlation between carbon dioxide and Earth's temperature. At times, CO2 was 1,300% of today, and we were stuck in very cold conditions. So it was all over the board. So I started wondering, well, maybe he's right. He exposed me to a lot of people who actually showed me that there are thousands of scientists. And here's a book, actually, that illustrates that. It's called Climate Change Reconsidered. And this is on climatechangereconsidered.org. There are thousands of references here which talk about the fact that there is no foundation to the climate scare. It's all but based wait. on models that don't yeah. work. But, Tom, when you hear you know, politicos especially, but not just the politicos, celebrities. It's, it's, it's settled science. Science is <laughs> yeah. settled. Is science ever settled, really? I mean, it, it, except no. over time where you really, you know, what, what is H2O? We know what H2O is, right? <laughs> we, we understand that. But yeah. is this science settled really quickly? No. In fact, it's a very immature science. In fact, we don't even know whether it's going to warm or cool in the future. Various people who study the sun, for example, Dr. Patterson, they show that we're headed into a grand solar minimum around 2060 and that we'll see gradual cooling over the next few decades. So the bottom line is we have no clue what's going to really happen. So the only sensible approach is to get ready for it, to make our infrastructure hardened, to use solid, dependable sources of energy like coal. This is a piece of coal from eastern Kentucky. And not to turn off our solid, reliable energy sources for flimsy wind and solar power. You know, you'd laugh. It's appropriate that I'm based here in Ottawa, because right now here in Ottawa, Canada, they're running a, a municipal election. And it is the most corrupt election I have ever oh, seen. God. They are trying their best to bring in a climate alarmist as mayor. So guess who they put in charge of the four debates they've had? Climate activists. They have climate activists running right. the mayor's debate. It's Professor, it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't surprise me that this is happening in Canada. It's happening in the United States. And we need real facts to, uh, to discern what the real truth is here. Professor, thank you for this invaluable work that you're doing. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.